Hey everyone, how's it going? The name is Blockhead. Today I'm going to discuss uh, the most important DO question that you will be asked on your interviews. can almost guarantee you it. It is the question that separates MD students from DO students. So what makes this question critically important is your approach and how you look at it. Now, um, most medical students, they know how a med student thinks, will look up the answer to this question and try to approach it from a here's the answer to the question kind of approach while a person who's has a more do mindset will have passion towards the subject and you'll see what i get at when i d dissect this question so the question they're going to ask you is why a do school they know most of the people applying are there for an md program and do is the backup almost every do school knows we're the backup so let's ask this question to weed out the mindset of a MD student versus the mindset of a DO student. You want to pick the person who's passionate for D a DO school versus an MD school. So the number one thing you're going to look up is, well, what is OMM, right? Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine. You're definitely going to either A, look up that, or B, you're going to look up the philosophy of a holistic approach. Now, most medical students try to apply both into their, their aspect. They'll just be like, well, I want to go ahead and... Um, I want to, you know, when I look at a patient, I want to look at the holistic approach. I want the, I want to look at the spiritual aspect. I want to look at the mental aspect of the patient, and also obviously the physical aspect. You know, you dive into that realm, and honestly, that's kind of boring. Most people think that's boring. I mean, and in, in all honesty, I'd find it boring too. Um, but what separates an MD student from a TO student is OMM. In my opinion, that is what separates MD from DO. Now, when you approach this question, you're going to want to say, well, I'll, I'll give you kind of like my response and I'll tack on more information as I go. Um, so what you're going to want to say is, well, what interested me into DO, you know, what interested me into applying to your school is that you guys offer something that most MD programs don't offer. You know, especially if they ask you like, will you notice that you got a letter of rec? Because most of the time they're going to say like, oh, we noticed you got a letter of rec from an MD doctor. Why'd you pick DO? You know, because they know you're going down that route. So you're going to tell them, well, I, I personally am interested in DO schools because of something that you guys have that MD schools don't offer. And that's OMM. You know, it sounds kind of kiss up -y, but if you're able to back up that claim, it's believable. So for me, what I said is, um, it's this tool that you guys have. It's OMM. You're somehow able to uh, manipulate the muscles in the body to make a diagnosis. And that, I believe, is crucial in taking care of a patient. That I believe that's crucial in um, making, you know, it is a helpful tool for making a diagnosis. And I would really appreciate that to have that under my belt. Now, break, story time. This is where you're going to want to tell your story. Now, here's what I said. So here in this story, I said, um, when I was um, young, when I was much younger, my mom has a uh, DO physician that looks over her, and you know he's in charge of her health. Every time she goes in for checkups, blah blah blah. You kind of get the point, right? So I just kind of made it seem like, mom, my mom uh, would always go visit this DO doctor for checkups, and. I remember one time she said that she started feeling this neck pain and she was complaining about it and um, a lot of us didn't know what was going on we were completely clueless why was mom having neck pain it just seemed so random all of a sudden so she went ahead and went to her DO physician and what he did was I saw him kind of like m moving the muscles on her neck and on her shoulders and he kind of went down her spine and he was he told my mom he was like did you have a recent injury to your hip and my mom recently had fallen in the kitchen and landed on her hip and she told him yes I landed on my hip in the kitchen but how does that explain I have neck pain and to me it seemed like magic how was he able to feel the muscles in her neck and in her shoulders and somewhere around her spine to figure out that my mom landed on her hip. That doesn't make much sense to me and I personally don't understand how that works. But it intrigues me. 
And as I learned, as I got older, this physician is a DO physician. And what does he have that other, M other doctors don't have? And that's osteopathic manipulative medicine, OMM. It is this tool that has intrigued me and makes me want to be a DO physician. And that's how you're gonna want a sales pitch, why you are interested into OMM, why you're interested in a DO school. That was my sales pitch, and I landed every single school that I applied to. I think there was only like two schools that I didn't get into, but other than that, I got into almost every school. One school I didn't get into because of a funny story, and I learned why, and it was it's hilarious. Maybe I'll tell that another day. Maybe I could tell it at a live stream, who knows? But what I am saying is using that approach helps you distinguish yourself from other MD candidates. Now I will say, don't use my story. They've probably heard my story. <laughs> and if you have a too similar story, they're gonna figure it out. So I would recommend, you know, have your own experiences with the DO physician. I would highly recommend, like number one, get a letter of rec from a DO. You don't have to do any like, covering your bases if you get a letter of rec from a DO because they love seeing that letter of rec. That's your number one goal if you're applying for DO school is to get that letter of rec. But if you don't have that letter of rec like a lot of MD student, MD uh, bound pre-med students don't have, back it up with a story. So I want you guys to go ahead and like, you know, have more experiences, more clinical experiences. Ask your relatives if they have any experience encounters with DO physicians because some of them might have some and they could tell you some interesting stories and you can interweave that into why you're interested. I would highly recommend you talk to other people and their encounters with DO physicians. So that way you can have a better idea of what OMM is and how to target this question. I guarantee you, if you have a story, first you lay it out with this is why I'm interested. Put in a story and then round it all up with a bow on top with an entire, you guys have this tool, other people don't offer that. I'm interested. I'm in. Let me join your team. You're going to nail that question and it's smooth sailing. All you got to do is knock out the rest of the questions and you're good. So yeah, I hope you guys found that very helpful. Please do let me know in the comment section below if there's any other specific questions you'd like me to answer. I'd be more than willing to answer any interview questions, whether that's for DO or MD schools. I'd say I'm pretty well versed into knowing how to respond to these questions and giving uh, specific answers to them as well. Thank you guys so much for listening. Please do share the video. Please uh, like the video if you liked it. And please comment on the video if you have any ideas or any questions that you would like me to respond to. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. God bless and see you guys in the next episode. This is Blockhead signing out.